Okay, so let's take a look at how we go about preparing a direct labor budget. So we just start a direct labor budget by multiplying the number of units to be produced as calculated in the production budget by the direct labor hours needed per unit to find the total direct labor hours needed for the month. Then we multiply the direct labor hours needed for the month by the cost per hour to find the total direct labor cost needed to meet production. So here we have an example, and it says that at Royal, each unit of product requires 0.05 hours or three minutes of direct labor. The company has a no layoff policy, so all employees will be paid for 40 hours of work each week. And in exchange for the no layoff policy, workers agree to a wage rate of $10 per hour regardless of the hours worked, meaning they don't get any overtime. For the next three months, the direct labor workforce will be paid for a minimum of 1,500 hours per month. That's because of this no layoff policy. Now this is a little wonky, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. Okay, so once again, we start with our production budget computations, and we just multiply the number of units we need to produce by the time required to complete one unit. So remember, it was 0 0.05 direct labor hours per unit. So if we had to produce 26,000 units and it takes 0 0.05 hours, that means we need 1,300 hours of production. Now because of this no layoff policy, Royal is committed to paying a minimum of 1,500 hours even if the employees work less. So for example, in April, we only need 1,300, but we're required to pay them for 1,500. And that is just uh, what we're doing here to make sure that we get the right number of hours calculated. So um, we will pay them for 1,500 in April. We will pay them for the 2,300 required in May. And since June is a little bit less than 1,500, we will still pay them for 1,500. And if we add all that across, we see we're paying for 5,300 direct labor hours. And remember, the direct labor hourly wage rate was $10 per hour. So we'll just multiply that down, and then we can see our total direct labor cost for $53,000.